You want to talk plants? Late August, here together with pokeweed, Pitolaca americana, plant family Pitolacaceae, or Pitolacaceae, cousins, other members of the Pitolaca plant genus, mostly in South America, North America, and occasional species in Asia, Africa, and Madagascar. The name Pitolaca comes from Greek for plant, Python, and Latin for red dye, Laca. The common name, poke, comes from a pre-Columbian name for this plant species. And since it was used to make ink, one of the many common names for this plant is also inkberry. Pitolaca americana is native to eastern North America. It was introduced as ornamental in botanical gardens in Europe and Asia, and it's now naturalized outside of its native range. It can be found along fence rows, roadsides, thickets, pastures, forest edge, and openings. Pitolaca americana is a herbaceous perennial plant from a large taproot. The plant can reach one to three meters tall. The stems are reddish purple. Leaves are simple, alternate, lanceolate, reaching 10 to 15 centimeters long and about eight to 12 centimeters wide, with an unpleasant smell when bruised. And this is one of its many ways to tell you, stay away, I'm poisonous. It blooms July to September, small, flowers in tender racines that are upright to pendulous, particularly as the fruit forms. The individual flowers have five petal-like sepals, greenish-white, and no petals, about 10 stamens, and a compound pistil usually of 10 fused carpels, but anywhere in between 6 and 12 fused carpels. The fruit it's a glossy black berry, which is a good source of food for birds and small animals that can tolerate its poisons. The entire plant is poisonous, with the highest concentration of toxins in its roots, then stems, leaves, and then the berries. And occasionally horses, sheep, or cattle have been poisoned or intoxicated by eating fresh or contaminated hay. And Pitolaca americana is occasionally considered as a pest species by farmers. It is usually unpalatable to most herbivores unless there is no other food available. The berries in particular could be attracting to children, and children should be taught not to eat pokeweed berries or any berries from the wild without proper identification. Still, in spring and early summer, the leaves of pokeweed are consumed in eastern North America with proper cooking which involves boiling and throwing away the water, which reduces the amount of toxins. But as the plant ages, it becomes more poisonous. And even the sap can cause dermatitis in sensitive people. Pokeweed contains lectins, known under the name of pokeweed mitogen. Pokeweed mitogen is a complex of glycoprotein lectins known as powerful immunostimulants, promoting the proliferation of B and T lymphocytes and higher production of immunoglobulins. Pokeweed mitogen is used for immunodeficiency diagnostic tests and immunotherapy. Pokeweed antiviral proteins are also of great interest to biomedical research for their broad spectrum antiviral properties, including against HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, as well as for their antifungal properties. Even though a poisonous plant, no plant is inherently bad. All plants uptake carbon dioxide and release oxygen. And besides its importance in biomedical research, in its native range, pokeweed has an ecological role. Its berries are eaten by birds, which are the main seed dispersers, as well as small mammals, including raccoon, possum, gray and red foxes, who are able to process their toxins. And it is also a host plant for the caterpillars of some Lepidoptera species, including the giant leopard moth, Pitolaca americana.